Today, Connor and I are making the backdrop for our baby's gender reveal. I'm so excited, you guys. So the first thing we did was go to Lowe's and we couldn't decide what type of wood we wanted. We ended up going um, with this one. I believe this one was about three quarters inch thick um, and it ran about $35 um, per piece of wood. So I'm just taking a piece of string and wrapping it around a pencil. That way we can make the top of the arch. So I want to make sure it doesn't look like a cough, like a, um, a headstone. Cause some people like they make the edge, like I want it to be, I want it to be so that I guess it would be like, you know what I mean? Like I, I don't want it to be two straight lines and then just round it. I want it to be like, just like to flow. So some people make them like this. It should just be like a perfect flow, not to be like a harsh. You see like the difference? Like that kind of looks more like a headstone because it's like too straight. Like I want it to be all just like fluid curve. These both look like headstones, but. That was clearly a struggle, but we eventually both got on the same page and were able to make it exactly how I wanted. Next, we grabbed our Sawzall and just cut out the template. This was really easy to make um, and super easy to cut as well. Ooh, headstone. <laughs> Very Halloween-y. I feel like your arm is all red. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, your hand. <laughs> Alright, you want to fold this? Finley? Cool. We'll probably stick it out. <laughs> Next, we just cut out the smaller piece. Here's the rough edge. It's actually not too bad. Connor did a really good job of cutting it. And then we're just gonna go over it real quick with an 80 grit sandpaper just to smooth it all out. We wanted to make sure that the wood wouldn't bow or warp, so we cut some pieces of wood to place um, kind of sporadically on the back of it. We put one at the top and then one at the bottom and we just nail those in This is also going to be where we are able to drill in the holes um, To add some hinges in that way we can put um, kind of like a post in the back that way it can stand up I 
just want to take a second to pop in today's video to talk about today's sponsor, which is Ritual. Ritual is so awesome because their products are vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, and so much more. When we started trying to have a baby, you usually take prenatals about like three months before you start trying. So I've been taking prenatals for many, many years now, and I haven't been able to find one that I really loved. Um, the one that I got when we first found out I was pregnant, it had great ingredients, but the taste of it and smell was so bad. I was actually sitting on the floor, Connor would plug my nose and then drop each vitamin in and I would have to like take juice and I would gag and I just felt so sick afterwards. The great thing about these ones is that I have the citrus scented ones. So it literally just smells like a lemon when you open this. So there's no funky smell to it. And all you need are two capsules of these and they contain all of the omegas that you need. Like I said, the other ones I was taking, I think I had to take five different pills. So the fact that there's only two and they have a slow release um, formula. So that way it will help you to be able to take these on an empty stomach. It's really easy for me to trust Ritual because they're very open about where they source all of their ingredients from and all of the ingredients in here are really great. That was another thing I really struggled with was finding a prenatal that wasn't just filled with like a bunch of different colors and additives and sugars. These ones have really great ingredients in them. Another great thing is that you can get these delivered right to your door through a subscription so you don't even have to think about it. I know for me, the pregnancy brain has really been kicking in and I did not think that was a real thing until I'm now experiencing it. So definitely being able to just have these automatically shipped to my house makes it so much easier. So if you're thinking of becoming pregnant or if you're already pregnant, I have a code for you guys for 20% off your first month, which is OLN20. I'm gonna link everything in the description box down below for you guys. So if you guys are struggling like I was to find a good vitamin, definitely check out Ritual. So I have this wood filler, which I'm gonna take and fill in like all of these um, gaps and stuff because that will obviously <laughs> look really bad um, if they're not filled in. This wood putty is a little bit old, so it's kind of like separating a bit but it'll still work and i'm also using a caulking tool for this because i couldn't find the spatula that i normally use but let me just kind of go over it and sometimes i make it like a little messy just so it's like evenly covered and then we're going to sand over this later that way everything is nice and flat but i always say it's better to kind of lay it on a little bit thicker that way it's even and you don't have um, like any divots going into it. So here's where it goes downhill a little bit. Um, the paint color. This was really hard for me to decide on. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do two different nudes or if I wanted to do more pastel colors. I feel like I'm just such a pastel type of person and I don't really love like, you know, neutral so much. I mean, I do, but I don't know. I just felt like I should do something pastel, but we decided, my friend Britt came over and she helped me. So we both decided probably nudes would be better since there would be um, a giant balloon arch on this, which will have pastel blue and pink balloons all over it. Um, but when the paint dried, I started to kind of second guess everything. Um, these were both, one was a dark nude and one was a lighter one. You guys can see here me painting over <laughs> one of the nude colors. It almost had like an orangey tone to it and I don't think it looks horrible on camera, but in person when we put them up, I was just like, this is not what I had in mind. So I actually had some paint um, here at the house that I painted over it. So this one is a light green. And then the smaller one I did in Greek Villa. You guys know I paint everything Greek Villa, but I feel like those are just so me. Cool. 
Yay! It's officially gender reveal day, which is so exciting. Um, I knew the smart thing to do was to put the arch together the night before, but we were exhausted. We have been doing so much. But this arch um, balloon kit, I will link below. It was only like $18.99 and it was so beautiful. As you guys can see, the balloons look white, but then when you blow them up, they're all colorful. And that's because these were double balloons. So there's a darker color inside, but it helps to give the balloons this really beautiful muted color. And I absolutely love how it turned out. Now we're finally showing you guys what the arches look like. I'm so glad I changed the colors. I love that light green and the white together. It looks so beautiful, especially with all of these pastel colored balloons that we went with. So we were trying to figure out how to kind of arrange all of this and we decided we like the balloon arch on the smaller arch, which I think just looks so beautiful. So we just attached it with some ribbon and then taped it to the back of the arch and it stayed pretty well. So then we took a drill and drilled a hole through the biggest arch and then we just stuck the cord through. That way there's no wires hanging or anything like that and it just looks so beautiful. And then we just screwed in this O oh Baby sign which I got on Amazon and again, I will link it for you guys. Um, we also got some blue and pink pumpkins so we put those on the side of the arch and now it's time to light it up. It looks so pretty. So to finish it off, I took some baby's breath and I just filled in any of the gaps in the balloon arch. So here's the final reveal of the arches. I am so happy with how they came out. It was the perfect backdrop to tell everyone what our little baby is going to be. We count down? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, two. 